The time drilling travel. The time drilling travel was first addressed by H. G. Wells in his The Time Machine. In your departure, time domain, as you embark on your time travel, you sit on the magic chair, the time machine, and comfortably, rains or fires, you travel in a straight timeline, toward your destination, time domain. Arriving safely there, still comfortably seated in your magic chair. The time drilling is a brutal drilling process, whereby you retain your brick and mortar body, which can be hurt if the time navigation is not applied. Wells did not allow for the time navigation, but that is not important. His story is still the story favored by the filmmaking industry. Yet, if you do allow for the time navigation, in the time drilling travel, your time drillers can choose the time curve, connecting their departure domains to their destination domains of their own free will. In other words, they can select the time landscapes to be traveled through. I would always choose the time curve involving the time domain of the Trojan War, or the time domain of Alexander the Great. The Time Climbing Travel Time climbing and time ladder, and the flow of time, are easily visualized by using the analogous mountain climbing and the river flow, down below. The higher you ascend the mountain, you see the larger part of the river down below, and the less recognizable the river flow becomes for you. Let us now visualize the mountain as the time mountain, or the time ladder, and the river flow as the flow of time. As you ascend the time mountain, or the time ladder, the larger part of the river of time you see, and the less recognizable the flow of time becomes for you. I am that I am. I am all that there has ever been. I am all that there will ever be. I am the everlasting. On the top of the time ladder, there is Quab the Giver, the Supreme Being. Of course Quab can climb the time ladder, up and down, of his own free will. From the top of the time ladder, Quab sees the whole river of time, which is, for our universe, some 100 billion years in duration. The flow of time, itself, stops for Quab the Creator. Quab sees, at once, our past, present, and the future. I am that I am. I am all that there has ever been. I am all that there will ever be. I am the everlasting. Free Will and the Flow of Time from the top of the time ladder, Quab the Creator sees and knows the whole history of our universe and the human race. This does not mean that Quab controls the evolvement of the human race. Human race evolves via their free will, via their accumulated knowledge of the physics laws, and via the ultimate code, the Quab code, which contains the hidden purpose of Quab the Giver for the creation of our universe and the human race of the code 1 up to the code 13. Quab created five mortal codes. Code 1 to code 5 and 8 immortal codes. Code 6 to code 13. Via physics knowledge, the human race tends to reach the knowledge of the Quab code. The process itself both expands and curbs your free will. The Time Hopping Travel In the Time Hopping Travel, you do not retain your brick and mortar body. You travel as your ID code. Your soul. You first hop up to the Quab code, and then, you hop down to your chosen destination time domain, on the tapestry of time. 
you touch the ground there, and your brick and mortar body. This travel is instantaneous. It is essentially the teleportation from one time domain to another one.